On today's daily sprint, we're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today, we're specifically talking about eight ways, four ways that a really good friend of mine, I call him my business coach. He's a close friend of mine out in Michigan. And we talk daily, sometimes for hours, sometimes for minutes. But pretty much on average, we talk daily when one of us isn't on a vacation. And he's a big capacity person. Like this guy's got, got, got everything he needs, beautiful kids, beautiful family, beautiful house, all the money he needs. But he's like, I wanna be at my capacity. So, you know, there's this glass here, has a much smaller capacity than this jug here. He wants to increase the size for his capacity. So we were talking about four ways that we can increase our capacity. Number one is to learn more. Show up to trainings, um, read, get around people who, who have the knowledge that we want. So number one is learn more. Learning increases our capacity. Number two, this is uh, cool because um, in his, his he owns a, a huge construction company, and he used to be the tool. He'd be out there digging the ditches. Okay, then he started to get crews underneath him that used much more efficient tools. So use tools in your life, in your business. Don't be the tool. That could be maybe hiring a house cleaner. That could be to, to free up time to work your business. That could be maybe uh, hiring a babysitter so you can work your business. That could be using video. If someone asks you the same question more than once, you can use tools and that increases your capacity to help more people. Number three, now we get into the good stuff. Uh, number three is to get around better people. What I mean is not better people, we're all created equally but get around people who are better than you at what you're aspiring to be. Now, what in order to do that, guess what you gotta get rid of? The ego. The ego needs to go bye-bye. You have to get around better. So say that you're trying to be a better nutrition coach. What coaches are you around that are better than you? Say you're trying to be a better bodybuilder. Are you the strongest guy in the gym? Are you the strongest lady um, you know, on the platform? Or are you specifically surrounding yourself around better people? When you surround yourself by people who are better than what you have, you then, you then have to get better so they wanna hang around you. <laughs> you know, Nobody wants a weight that weights him down, which leads me actually to number four. This is huge. If you want to increase your capacity and be a more abundant giver, if you wanna be a lender, not a borrower, if you wanna be a producer, not a receiver, You've got to get away from validators. People who tell you it's okay. It's okay that you're not doing X, Y, and Z. It's okay. They just validate you. They sympathize with you. They are deaf to your capacity. Those, those types of people will get you from this cup to this cup really, really quick. Okay? The difference between an unempathetic person and a validator is... If you're unempathetic, you just say, oh, you, you're a loser or whatever. No. A validator would say, oh, it's just okay. It's just okay. The people you want to get around and say, hey, it's not okay where you're at right now. I get it. I've been through. Mary over there has been through this. <sighs> Let's rest for just a little bit and let me show you how to get out of this. That's what validators don't do. Okay, they just love being the victim. They love placing the blame game, but they don't get around better people who have conquered 10 times more than they have gone through, okay? So your go through is their went through. Get around people where, where you're going through, find people that already went through that at a much, much higher level, meaning that they had to go through a lot more than you're going through. That's huge. So learn more, use tools, don't be the tool, get around better people, and get away from validators. Thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Have a great growth-driven rest of your day.